This video is dedicated to all our military throughout the world, to all the policemen and women throughout the world, who are in the illusion that they are doing the right thing and they are doing their job. You must know, and people say this all the time, that you swore an oath to protect the Constitution. You know, I'm only speaking about United States of America, military and police. I don't know what other soldiers throughout the world, what they are swearing an oath to, but I know the whole system all works pretty much the same. But as far as my American brothers and sisters, when people say that you swore an oath to protect the Constitution of the United States, you did just that. But what you may or may not know, and all I am doing is asking you to research this, is you will find that because of the Act of 1871, they, in a nutshell, disregarded the original Constitution and rewrote it to have different meanings where people, free sovereign people, became citizens. The legal term of citizen is to be subject unto the jurisdiction of the United States, which the United States in all capital letters is a corporation located in the District of Columbia. It's its own country. And the way you could recognize anywhere where you are subject to that jurisdiction is if you see a flag like this, only it has the gold trim around it. That is admiralty law. That is a military flag. That is telling you that it's not the country you think it is. There's a difference between the United States of America and the United States. So the Constitution that you swore an oath to protect is not the Constitution that was originally created by our forefathers who fought to free ourselves from tyranny, or at least tried to. And if you look up the Act of 1871, and you look up how they changed the original 13th Amendment into making a slave into a citizen, you will understand that you are protecting not the country that you think that is called United States of America, you are protecting a corporation, a military corporation known as the United States, which sole purpose is to extract money from every citizen that lives here, unknowingly, because in the 13th Amendment, they change, they legally define the term slavery, and the way they did it was calling it involuntary servitude. And the way they trick you into being a legal slave is by unknowingly serving, by becoming a citizen of the United States. Now, like I said, see this? USA. That's the United States of America. That's the country. That's part of North America. Because there are two Americas, believe it or not. When you say the word America, it just, just doesn't mean the USA. Because... Canada is North America, and then you have South America, where Brazil and other countries are. So America is not just the United States of America. But when you become a citizen of the United States, in all capital letters, you have gone from the country that you think that you are living on to a corporation that is a piece of paper located in the Washington, D.C. area. And anyone that claims to be a citizen is following that constitution. That's why the Constitution says, and I will show you, the Constitution of the United States, all capital letters. Originally, we used to say the Constitution for the Union of the United States of America. Or it could just say the United States, where the U and the S were only in capital letters. So I understand you think you're protecting the American people. You're protecting citizens, which are government-owned corporate property. If you have a driver's license or any form of ID where your name is in all capital letters, that means you are part of their corporation and you must follow their rules. And as long as we all continue to comply, then we are consenting to 
legal slavery. Because being subject to the jurisdiction, just think of a king. A king has his subjects. Jurisdiction is the area that you are involved in. And just because you don't know about it does not mean that ignorance is no excuse of the law. So I am sending a begging and pleading message to all military out there, all police out there. I know you think you're trying to do right. But if you act, if you look up the Act of 1871, and you research the corporation known as the United States in all capital letters, you will see you are protecting not the country, but the corporation whose sole purpose is to extract as much money out of its people. And that's why we're losing jobs left and right. That's why more and more Americans and people around the world are getting poorer and poorer. And you're helping to protect that. That's why they're sending you, the military, overseas to lands that only occupy things like poppy seeds and oil and lithium and all the other things that we need so we can get cheap labor. And that's why they're exporting all our jobs over to China where the few make billions off of us. And the police who think they're guarding the banks and helping to keep peace from people who are peacefully trying to protest. Now, I'm not saying that anybody that goes out of the way to harm somebody, whether they have good intentions or not, if your purpose is to try and hurt somebody, you're doing the wrong thing. Unfortunately, you deserve to get punished. But if somebody's peacefully trying to awaken the fellow brethren and you're hurting them, you really need to rethink what you're getting because you're getting paid to hurt people. Think about that. And one day, there's going to be a financial problem, or at least a potential financial problem in this world. And all that money you got paid to do the job that you thought you were doing was, to be, was right could potentially end up not worthless, but worth a lot less than it is now. Just research how the dollar, the U.S. dollar, has lost approximately over 90% of its purchasing power since the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. So I am sending this message out because my grandfather fought in World War II. My father was a major in Vietnam. I have family that served in the military. Think about what you're doing. Send this message to somebody. I'm not saying you're evil. You've been lied to like we've all been lied to. And ignorance is no excuse of the law. So you may have joined the force or joined the military thinking, I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going in to help people. And you may be thinking you're upholding the Constitution that you swore an oath to. But look into the Constitution that you swore an oath to. It's not the original Constitution. It is a corporation. All I ask is, instead of sending hatred, instead of doubting it, instead of dismissing it, you are all very well trained into knowing your surroundings. So all I'm asking is for you to verify it. Prove me wrong. Because I love you just as much as I love everyone else. And I don't want to see bloodshed. Because the people, the top 1% of the top 1% who are making all the money in the world are going to use you, the military and the police, as the battering rams and the ones that will be the punching bags if there's a riots around the world. Because who are the ones that get the blunt of the attack? Is it the bankers? Is it the government officials? Or is it the military and the police? So they don't really care about you. They're just using you. And I hope you see that. And until you come on our side and help us, Things cannot change because you are their bodyguards who are they are using. And when they have no more use for you, you'll be dismissed and not in a nice way. And I don't want to see millions of people who are starving in the streets decide that the only way to get justice is by going through you in a physical, harmful way. It's time that we grow as a species and learn a better way. And violence is not the answer. Because to hurt somebody, to stop somebody from hurting somebody, is like putting out a fire with fire. 
I hope you'll listen to this, and I hope you'll research the Act of 1871. I hope you'll research about the United States in all capital letters as a corporation and learn who you sworn an oath to. So to all the people out there who are saying, oh, they need to uphold their constitution that they swore an oath to, they're doing just that. They're protecting the corporation, even though they don't know about it. But like they say, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Thanks for watching. Please, please share this video. Peace.